Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And the people at Rictivas sent me a couple of radios to show you. Uh, they gave me a list, and then one of the radios I chose was this one, which is an AM, FM cassette recorder and cassette player. Pretty cool. And the reason I chose this one is because a lot of my subscribers are in the school time frame that I was when I was a kid, which we used these cassettes. These guys right here. And I have a huge collection of cassettes, and uh, my wife also does. So we're going to go through this right now. comes with this manual. manual tells you everything about the buttons and how to use all the functions. Get that out of the way. Get my pin out of the way. It kind of gives you an idea of the size. I have a ruler here. Uh, we'll try to measure. It's about uh, five inches by about three and a half by about one and a half inches deep. So fits pr pretty much in the palm of your hand. A little, maybe a little large for the palm of your hand. Now, what it doesn't have is it doesn't have a belt clip. I would. I thought it would have had a belt clip. Anyway, so controls. These are all the controls for the cassette player recorder. This is the volume button. Over here we have a microphone in, and it has a built-in microphone, and the earbud out. Here's the tuning button. Here's the mode control, AM, FM, tape. And if there's not a tape being played or recording, that's the off position. Uses a two AA batteries, standard AA batteries, or it comes with this cable right here, which I've already used. Um, this plugs into a USB port, and this plugs into the side right here, and so you can use that as power instead of batteries. Okay, let's move on. Let's try it out. First, we'll try AM and FM. This is the tuning dial right here. Little red bar tells you the frequency. And then we'll put it in AM mode. Or, yeah, AM mode. Now, I'm going to get some noise from the stuff that's in my office, so be aware of that. We're down at the lower end of the band. There we go. Very clear, very loud. I can turn it down. So it's got plenty of volume. We turn it back up for the microphone, I mean, for the camera. Look at the blast stations. Very easy to tune. No muting while tuning. What a ridiculous poll. You people are a joke, all right? Up from 52% before the... Development backs you. Learn how you can invest in this hard asset real estate. Locks in on the station. Let's go to FM. Now, the FM... This is this external antenna, I mean, yeah, this telescopic antenna, which is quite long. It's 19 inches. So I'm going to extend this a little bit, and we'll start tuning back down the band. There we go. Very clear. Not bad at all. Pray that her wife's remaining MRI results... Plenty of volume. Getting a lot of stations. So that's working great. Let's turn that off real quick. There we go. Put the antenna down so we don't break it. It swivels 360. Now, let's try the cassette recorder and player. And first, we'll try the cassette player. Got some Christmas music here. 
And we just, there's a little tab here. We just flick that open. Stick the cassette down inside there. Oh, oh. Okay, we'll try that again. And what I keep forgetting is the tape head, or the tape, tape itself, and the head is at the top. So the narrow part goes in the bottom. Keep forgetting it. Closes up, and then you've got stop, fast forward, rewind, play, and then you hold these two down at the same time to do a record. So I don't want to do that right now. So we're going to replay. Not bad. Little tinny. Small speaker. Okay. Enough of that. Now, we will take a blank tape. This is a blank tape. This is a Memorex. And I think I've got it in the right way as far as which end of the tape, because I only recorded a few minutes. There we go. We'll close that up and then we'll do a rewind. And I think I'm going the wrong way. Okay, so that was a little stop. And we'll take it back out. And we'll turn it over and see if that's the correct way. And we'll rewind. Because I only recorded a few minutes. And what I did is I recorded off of the radio. There's the end of it. So I recorded directly off of the radio. And what you do is first you select the band, AM and FM, and then hit the play and these two buttons here to record. And it records directly off the radio. And it's, it, the microphone has a built-in microphone, is muted, so you don't get any external noise, and you just play it. All right. Here we go. We're going to play it. Turn the volume up. There we go. That's recorded off of the radio. I'm tuning. Introducing new Domino's car side delivery. Now you can carry out any three topping pizza for just seven ninety nine. So, that works great. Now, the mistake I made is the first tape for recording that I found was kind of a no-name tape, and apparently it was not very good quality, and the recording was terrible. Then I found this one. It was steel sealed. It's a Memorex, uh, high-quality tape. I used that, and the recording is perfect. It's just like you're listening to the radio. The, um, the one thing that I noticed, though, let me get, open this back up, is... The rewind and fast forward is not super fast. I'm going to go fast forward. And I don't know if you can see that or not. That's pretty fast, but I'm used to um, big decks. You know, like, you know, there's like zip. That's plenty fast. Okay, so much for that. Let's stop. That's about it, I think. It also can record via this microphone input. And what I did is I took this MP3 player and I found this doesn't come with the with the radio. I found this jack, I mean this uh, cord, and I piped from here to here and recorded that. Perfect, worked perfect. That's about it. I um. I wish, the one, only one thing is, I wish it had a belt clip. But I do like the fact that it does have an AC input, or not AC input, but a USB input, so that you can save your batteries. That's it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.